Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to another K-Beauty haul follow-up speed reviews. We are going over seven products in today's video. Timestamps and links are in the description box below, as always, and I am so excited for this video. I feel like it's going to contain a lot of products I've been promising you all. For example, I went ahead and did 30 days of the V Green Nature Mucin Serum on half my face and 30 days of the Jumiso Snail and Peptide on the other half. And we're gonna talk about the results of that in today's video. I also did the side-by-side -side of the Dr. G sunscreen versus Round Lab. We'll talk about that too. I think it's gonna be a really fun video, but really quickly, I feel like I have to comment on Black Friday, Cyber Monday from the K-Beauty retailers because it's still going on. It's the last day today. And my messages, my DMs about this sale have been so funny. <laughs> it seems that some of you have been very disappointed in the sales and others have been very happy. <laughs> but I think I get it. I think I know what it is. I too felt like the deals on the more affordable K-Beauty brands weren't quite as good. And yet, if you were shopping for, oh, I don't know, say, Misha's Chogong Jean line, this makes sense though. You know, I was thinking about how funny it is that Black Friday is now celebrated in countries where nothing happens the Thursday before. And let's go ahead and get into this video because of course you know I wanna start with this comparison. Now I did take some video of before and after, and I just wanna say before I show you that video, Please keep in mind that I didn't only use these two products for the last 30 days. It's these products plus, you know, all of my favorites. I've been testing all of my favorites to see what makes it into the best skincare of 2023. So uh, these results don't exist in a vacuum. That's my hesitancy in doing before and after photos. You know, none of them exist in a vacuum. What else did you do during the time you used this one product? That said, I am very pleased. I am very pleased with the results from both of these. So much so that I feel what I really proved to myself in the last 30 days is that these are dupes. And not directly, of course, you get a lot more product with the Jumiso, but the V-Green is a snail mucin alternative. It's a vegan product for people who don't wanna use the Jumiso snail mucin essence or other snail mucin products. And it is very, very well done because in the end, I will now show you my results. My results were incredible from both of these. I feel like this proves a couple of things. One is that, you know, we hear about how great uh, this product is and how great that product is. And you don't wanna miss the results from this product, but keep something in mind. A lot of products give you the same results. They even have a similar texture, although I will say the V Green dries down faster on my skin, whereas the Jumiso stays moist a little longer. I think this kind of thing comes down to personal preference. Personally, I do like it when a product takes just a little bit longer to dry, especially in my PM routine. But when we take a look at the ingredients of these two side by side, I mean, it makes perfect sense that in the end, my conclusion is you can pick either one of them. They're very similar. They have the exact same peptide blend, exact same peptides. While one is using snail mucin, the other is using wild yam, which is meant to give you similar results to snail mucin. And of course, with snail mucin, you get intense hydration. Some people report a reduction in inflammation as well. Meaning my personal conclusion is you don't need to buy both of these by whichever one suits you more. Now, I will say the Jumiso does give you more value. This is on sale at Style Korean for $7.77 for, oh, it's 4.73 fluid ounces. This is more than the CosRx. <laughs> and the V Green is 1.69 fluid ounces, but some people want vegan skincare. And now I can tell you with a lot of confidence, you have a great option here. So it was a very interesting trial to do. Glad I did it, and by the way, <laughs> My love for snail mucin is kind of back. I've realized just how much more I like this than the Coserex version. But of course I do. I already like peptides. I talk about them all the time. Now you've got snail mucin at 95% plus peptides. 
Let's chat next about another comparison, the Dr. G Red Blemish Soothing Up Sun Cream, which I requested from Stylevana as a result of hearing Mary recommend it. Thank you so much, Mary. <laughs> And if you saw the video where I tried this on, my first impression of it was that it reminded me so much of the Round Lab, except without a white cast. See, what we have going on here, this is the Red Blemish Soothing Sun Cream. It's meant to be for acne-prone skin, but again, K-Beauty has such a different approach to acne where it's more about nourishing the skin. In the Round Lab, Birch Sunscreen is using Birch to provide extra moisture. And oh my gosh, when I did this side by side, I proved to myself just how much more I like this new combination of sunscreen filters. It's the same formula that we talked about in both the Numbuzzin Clear Essence sunscreen and the Calm sunscreen. And now it's the same formula in a product that is designed for nourishing acne prone skin. I just cannot get over how much faster it applied than the Round Lab because I didn't need to sit there continuing to buff this sunscreen into my skin. It doesn't have Tennis Orb M. So thank you for all you've done for me for the past year, Round Lab. But for me, the Dr. G is a new favorite. The rest of this video is four different moisturizers, all in very different textures. You know how much I think about this, right? <laughs> so let's go from lightest to most occlusive, which means a follow-up on the I'm From Licorice Calming Cream. This is one of the products that I picked in the Yes Style Influencer Program. You can pick a freebie every month to review on your channel or your Instagram. I'll link that below if you haven't joined. And I was really excited for this. I actually bought the ampoule as well, but that got canceled for my order. I like licorice. It's an excellent ingredient for helping to brighten your skin. I do want to say a note though, before I tell you anything more here, I get a lot of questions about how to deal with hyperpigmentation. And I just want you all to know it is difficult. It is difficult as somebody with acne who breaks out and then has to deal with the hyperpigmentation afterwards on repeat. I would say hyperpigmentation is the hardest issue to address. It is better to prevent it in the first place by wearing sunscreen, by using hydrocolloid patches on your breakouts instead of popping your pimples. It's better to prevent it. It is hard to treat. But as for my thoughts on this product, I like it. I think it's a nice formula. It is kind of light. I do have a dry skin type and this just doesn't work as a moisturizer on its own for me, even more so as we get into what, the winter months. So I've kind of been plowing through this uh, predictably, one might say. It's just, you know, a product that blends out really fast and really nicely, so I, I think that most people will like it, but it's just not moisturizing enough for my skin type. Overall, I like it. You kind of saw a bit of the results if you saw the Jumiso before and after because I've been using this for the past 30 days as well, but you can still see there's a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my skin. It's, it's very hard to treat. I don't think you can just buy this and get rid of, you know, age spots, bad acne scars. I just don't think it's going to give those kind of results, but I think you can use it in conjunction with other ingredients that help to fight hyperpigmentation pigmentation such as AHA, azelaic acid. So again, it's nice. I don't see myself repurchasing it because I don't think it's ideal for my dry skin type, but you might really like it if you have more oily to normal skin. But now we are into moisturizers that are more suited to my dry skin type. So let me follow up on this Neogen V-Biome Firming Cream that I bought a while ago, and I have been really enjoying this one. <laughs> Just like I said in my initial try-on, I think it was a, a Yes Style haul. I don't like this. I still don't like this. They added this spatula into the lid for convenience, but it's not convenient. It's especially not convenient now that I'm getting to the bottom of it because how are you gonna, how are you gonna use this shape and get out all of this product? <laughs> but the moisturizer itself is absolutely wonderful. I like this one so much. I ignored Neogen for a long time because they used to be a brand that used a lot of essential oils. 
And it is true that this does contain some cedar essential oil, but the nice thing about cedar essential oil is that it doesn't contain those more irritating compounds. We're not gonna have any citronellol, geraniol, in cedar essential oil. You do have some of those bacteria fighting compounds in cedar oil, but it's, it's important to look at every essential oil individually. Again, I'll link my video about fragrance. It, just if you do wanna go down the rabbit hole on what it means to talk about the compounds in essential oils. And what this does offer is panthenol, niacinamide, and quite the list of peptides, all in a formula that is kind of more of a medium weight moisturizer. It is nourishing enough for my dry skin, but it is not that really thick and heavy texture. In all truth, I kind of bought this on a whim, just because I hadn't bought anything from Neogen in such a long time. I did not expect that I was going to find a product I like this much, although maybe I should have because predictably, I like peptide ingredients. So I'm really happy with this, even really nice glass packaging as well. This is very nice. I know there's another Neogen cream that quite a few of you have asked about. I forget the name of it right now, but I might try that one next. This was another highly recommended product from Mixoon, the Mixoon Master Repair Enriched Cream. Now we are going thinnest to thickest here. This is a thick cream. In a tube, which I know is something quite a few of you are looking for. And it's not just a thick cream, you know, there's definitely more going on here. This one is focused on repair, exactly as the name suggests. You are getting those constituents found within Sika, Medecasoside, Asiaticoside. You are getting hyaluronic acid, a ceramide ingredient, fatty acids, all without niacinamide. I know some of you are looking to avoid that. I kind of feel like I appreciate that in a more reparative type of product, especially because some people do seem to react to niacinamide. It might be a good way to eliminate that as a possibility. I can use niacinamide just fine, just saying as an example here. And by the way, it's a bigger product too. This is 2.7 fluid ounces. So this will be great for my dry skin type through these winter months. Really glad I got it. And by the way, I got this in a Style Vana sale, one of their super sales. So I didn't pay too much. I know Mixoon is more of a mid-range K-beauty brand, but I, I did not pay too much for this product. And our final product for this video, I wanna follow up on the Abib Overnight Mask. I got this through one of the advent calendars. I knew I liked it from first try. It's so funny to me though, because when I see this texture, my gut instinct is to go, oh, that's, that's gonna be way too light, a gel-like texture, too light for my dry skin. But no, this type of texture can also be very occlusive, and that's exactly what you get in this product. It is one of those magical products where if I put this on my face before I go to bed, I still wake up with my skin not feeling incredibly dry. If you have oily skin, this might not be something that you relate to, but my fellow dry skin types know that sometimes we wake up with our skin very dry, especially if the heat has been running all night. And you are getting lactobacillus rice ferment. That is a postbiotic ingredient that shares some of the similarities of bifida ferment. So overall, it's a calming, strengthening formula, which is perfect for people who have figured out that looks maxine is overrated. Try calm maxine instead. I can't believe that's a thing. I cannot believe that is a thing. All right, my friends, that brings us to the end of this K-Beauty Speed Reviews haul follow-up. As always, let me know what you would like to see in the next video. If you have any requests or recommendations, always feel free to drop them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you all next time.